Welcome Warp Enjoyers to our first Trustle tutorial. Here you will learn how to get started using the application and navigate the in-app maps. You will also learn about using Trustle to keep notes about the warps in your randomizer runs. Unless you already have it, check the link in the description to get the latest version of Trustle. Scroll down towards the download link, download the zip file, unpack the .exe file, maybe read the changelog if you got the time, and run the .exe file. On the main screen you'll find a few slices of useful information in the bottom center. A few links to YouTube videos like this one, a link to the Trostler Discord server, a small notion of the current app version in the bottom left corner and last but not least buttons that lead to maps of the games supported by Trasler. I'm sure I don't really have to explain this but to reach an in-app map you click on the respective button. Now that we are on the map you can see a visual representation of the game as well as some buttons and those nice little warp markers over here. First of all you can navigate the map using the mouse. Holding the right mouse button while dragging the mouse across the screen will let you move the view across the map. Scrolling will zoom out or zoom in. Navigating the map can also be done by using keyboard controls. Those can be found and altered inside the settings menu. If you zoom out far enough you will find some areas being marked with labels. By clicking such a label it will automatically take you to the respective area. Roughly at least. Now let's have a little talk about those warp markers. They are probably the most crucial part of Trostler. In order to connect two warps to each other, you need to select both of them in succession. In order to select a warp marker or unselect an already selected warp marker, you have three options. 1. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard while clicking the warp marker. Two, Hold the left mouse button, hover over the warp marker and click the right mouse button and 3. Hold the right mouse button while clicking the warp marker with the left mouse button. Choose whatever feels best for you. So once you select the two warp markers, they are being connected. If a warp marker already has a connection, this is not gonna work. If you still want to override a warp connection, you first have to unlink the warp markers again. This can be done by clicking this button that appears in the lower right corner or by using a hotkey that you can find in the settings menu. In my case this is the delete key. You can change the color of that line by clicking the colored button in the bottom center and choosing a different color. Already established connections won't change their color. This however can be done manually by selecting a warp after choosing a different color. Warp connections can also be hidden by clicking one of the connected markers with the right mouse button. Another right click reveals the line again. Clicking a connected warp marker with the left mouse button however will take you to its destination instantly. If the connection is hidden this will also show it again in the chosen color. And call me crazy, but this isn't even everything you can do with warp markers. If you feel really fancy, you can even click them with the middle mouse button, which will change the color of the marker itself. This may be helpful to mark which warps you already checked in runs and make it easier to see how important they are. If you don't have a middle mouse button, don't fret because you can cycle through the colors by holding the control key on your keyboard while clicking the marker. This does the same and depending on whether you left click it or right click it, it will cycle through the colors forwards or backwards. Most of what I just mentioned can be found in the in-app help section that can be accessed by clicking the question mark button in the lower left corner. So that's basically how you use Trasler to keep notes in your randomizer runs. If this video was helpful to you, please consider donating a few of your old childhood toys to children's hospitals. That's it for this video and thanks for watching.